All right, everybody, here is a look at that radar. We have some very stout thunderstorms that are rumbling through the central portion of the state of North Dakota. They moved through the capital city, producing 72 mile per hour gusts that were measured by the storm and history of some hail with those as well. No severe reports or warnings for the storms in northwest Minnesota. Now, there's enough energy for an isolated severe thunderstorm. The main threat from these will be some hail. And as we take a look at the latest radar scan, I don't see the risk for large hail from any of these storms at this time. They're moving southeast at 30 miles per hour. There's a cell that's very close to you in Roseau. These are going to continue their track towards northwestern Beltrami County here in the upcoming hour. So uh, those storms will continue through the evening hours and we'll get into the forecast in a minute. This cluster of storms in the central part of the state. We have the Kidder County storms here near Steele that are moving right into western Stutzman County to the east at 35 miles per hour. Here's the severe storm that caused the wind gusts in Bismarck moving more in a southerly direction. It's also moving at over 30 miles per hour. So these are going to be the ones that have a chance at impacting us in the upcoming hour or so in our western counties. And in fact, we'll be near Tappan by 515, Medina by 547. So as these storms approach, if you're in western Stutzman County, if you're in a Dickey County and Lamore counties here, chance for a few early evening severe storms. Hail and damaging wind gusts will be our primary concern as we go through the evening. That is why the Storm Prediction Center and National Weather Service have issued that severe thunderstorm watch for our southwestern counties until 11 o'clock tonight. You're looking live from our view at the Luther Family Ford location. Here's 32nd Avenue. Traffic a little heavy, but not super slow. As look at conditions. We do have a temperature that's still in the 80s, mid 80s as a matter of fact, as we enjoy summer-like conditions. Wind not too bad. South at 7 miles per hour. Moorhead, it's 84 at your airport. We have 88 and 88 in Cavalier and Grand Forks. As we mentioned, the hot spot in where the, uh, the weather has been drier this summer. Devil's Lake also in that same boat at 88. Roseau right now with a storm on the doorstep, 81 degrees, 82 in Fergus Falls, and storms not in Impacting Jamestown yet, you have 84 degrees. These storms are being caused by a cold front up here to the north and west, and we're going to see showers and thunderstorms continue in your hour by hour forecast in northwest Minnesota. And watch what happens to the severe potential storms working their way into our neck of the woods. They mainly dive south toward the energy. And therefore, the chances of Fargo seeing severe weather tonight, not very good. Although we will leave a chance of thunderstorms in Grand Forks forecast, you'll have a better chance. Watch as we go through the late evening that as this cold air punches in, our thunderstorm chances continue through the 10 o'clock hour and into the early overnight hours as well. So northwest Minnesota, you'll have the best chance at evening and overnight storms. A slight chance of some storms in our southwestern counties. We'll keep our eyes on that. First thing in the morning, patchy fog, temperatures near 60 degrees. And as we go through the early half of your day, you'll notice no red and orange colors here. Uh, most of the orange well down to the south. Spotty early day showers as the cool air continues to spill in. We'll have a robust northwest wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And we stay cooler than average throughout our day, cooling quickly into the evening, into the 50s. So for Fargo, that means 63 to start. We'll ramp it up only into the mid-70s, just about 10 degrees below average, and cool off quickly at night. Northwest winds, hold on to the hat, 15 to 20 miles per hour. 70, Valley City, Roseau, as well as Thief River Falls. 69 tomorrow afternoon on your drive home in Detroit Lakes. Take a look at this. Northern Lights last night. Rick Craig capturing this near Rock Lake up there near the border. Another chance tonight. Maybe more towards daybreak, though. So uh, if you want to get up, get up early, walk the dog, do that. You might see the Northern Lights. 75 and dry on Thursday as we stay cool once again. Friday we start warming, but still a little below average. Saturday, a decent chance of showers with temperatures that will be near 80 from Saturday through Tuesday. Cool's okay. Not bad at all. Thanks, Sachin. You bet.